Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I will review a pen that is for me a very iconic pen, uh, which is the Parker Senior Du Fold, the so called Big Red Pen. A very nice vintage pen. The information I got to know more about it when it came from several internet researches and then great book that has all the information about all the variations and dating of the pen and imprint and everything so very nice book i recommend to to, to have that uh, you can buy it online and the here we go for the pen review so let's see first of all i have to say i really really like this model parker to fold for me this particular pen is the shape of a pen that I uh, imagine as the ideal shape of a fountain pen. It always has been for me. If you ask me to, to make a draw of a, a fountain pen, I will draw roughly this kind of, of pen. I don't know why, maybe because it's, it's just in my imagination. Um, this, this, this has a very simple shape and I believe it is a very nice pen to, to watch and to write with. So now let's check the details of this pen. First of all, we have the, the cap that has this black top made of hard rubber. It has this knurled engraving. This is in a quite good condition. The, the top is flat and then you have the, the the clip this is the this cap top you can unscrew it and this is what holds the clip which has this ball in place the clip has a ring and this attaches the ring to the cap the the ring and the, the clip to the cap if you unscrew this you can use this pen without the the clip there's no problem because this just gets flushed to the rest of the cap also these um, end part of the cap is also the inner cap in the inside of the of the cap which is just a tube of red plastic very well thought of here you have the the clip as i was telling you it is a ball clip ball ended clip and it says patent uh, sep september 5 16 and parker in the vertical then it has a large uh, golden band around the cap it has two holes here just to make sure the pressure uh, doesn't stuck the cap in place and then you have a barrel which is very cylindrical as is the cap and then you have this bottom of this blind cap on the on the bottom of the barrel the barrel has an engraving and let me see if I can show you what it says here and yes I can it says Joe S. Parker then Parker Dufold and then made in USA and in the end there is an upside down number one between two dots this means the pen was made in 1931 so uh, almost 90 years old uh, in 1931 and it was in the second quarter of that year so nice information to know uh, the pen the, the the cap and screws and here you have the 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 section the section the the, the screws on the the threads on the barrel are quite uh, there's no problem they, they are not sharp or anything and then you have this section very short but thick and with this flaring out portion that makes a real good rest for your fingers and then because the pen is so big it really has a nice size right with and then you have a big nib on the end and this nib says Parker to fold 
n and then it says a p which is a code for something i have to check it and then i'll tell you um very nice pen a gold nib and on the uh, underside it has the typical um christmas tree feed which is the name they call that is given for this uh, shaped feed because it has the, the shape of a christmas tree when we are kids and draw it we make all these spikes on both sides that is roughly the, the same uh, uh, look as the, the feed uh let me just cap it on the end we have the button because this pen is a button filler you have to dip the nib on the ink and then you have to press these a few times until the bubbles of air all go out and then wait just one or two three seconds just to wait till the ink comes into the sack because of the vacuum and then you can close it back and it is you wipe the, the, the section and the nib and it's ready to write so this is a very nice pen very nice size you can post the pen and but it becomes enormous that doesn't make any sense and it is not such a snug fit and you also must be aware that this cap is quite old and it may crack so don't force it i usually use these on my hand or on the table while i write with my right hand just uh, for comparison purposes in last year parker uh, relaunched uh, parker have been launching since 1988 or 1989 um, various um, pens that are similar to this one which are the parker dufold the centennial size is the most approximate size to this one and this one they called it the big red as a real homage to this pen and they also they even have these imprints on the cap this engraving joe sparker the fold parker pen and then says fountain pen it doesn't make sense anymore uh, in that time it made it, it, it didn't make sense because in this type of uh, shape it would be only a fountain pen um this is the this is a, a copy of this design not exactly the same design of imprint because imprint changed with time and then we have there with the nibs they have almost the same color almost the same size this is a very nice replica but there is some magic into the vintage one as you can see they are very nice and the colors are really on spot so i really think that parker did make a good job in replicating this one uh, the main difference is that the new one is as a, a silver chrome silver color trim while the uh, old one had a gold color trim so now let's just see how this pen writes and this is a very nice um, feeling for me at least to put ink into such an old pen and see that it is ready to write again such as a, almost like if it was a new pen so what we have here uh, about paper is the same as usual which is the rhodia dot pad and the ink is the pelican Evelstein smoky quartz and the pen is the Parker Senior dual fold fountain pen the called big red as you can see the pen writes really really well 
a nice flow, it doesn't skip at all, so it has, it, it is really good. Um, it has a, a, a line that is quite fine in the horizontal strokes, a little thicker in the vertical one, so we can call it almost like a fine stub nib, because it has these vertical lines a little bit thicker. So that is nice because we can get some line variation as we write. Usually the fold nibs were made to be um, somehow quite hard on the paper. So they are the usual they usually are not flexed. This kind of uh, grind on of the nib allows for some line variation. However, this one if you press it a little harder, you can notice some line variation here, as it is easy to see. So, this is a, a very nice pen. You can have a line variation, which is quite good. You can write upside down, and it writes really well also. If you want to see how wet the pen is, you can see it is very wet, and this is a, a Pelican Edelstein, which is a drier ink. This puts down a big amount of ink. It has also a quite reasonable amount of ink inside the sack, and it is a nice pen. It can be well used every day, you just have to be careful not to lose a pen like this, because it would be a shame. They can still be found on eBay, sometimes for it depends on the on their conservation status, but it may be around two hundred euros, three hundred euros, or more. So thank you so much for visiting us. If you like the video, please hit the like button, um, subscribe our YouTube channel if you didn't yet and leave comments beneath if you want. So, thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.